What is up guys, it is KikiZilla101 here yet again, and welcome back to One Take Reviews. Today we're going to be finally reviewing the Atlasaurus, this beautiful masterpiece that I recently purchased. I've already reviewed the uh, Paleoluxodon I got at the same time. You can check out that video um, on the channel or up in the top right corner right now. Uh, beautiful, absolutely stunning figure. Beautiful piece. Um, I actually had, it's so massive. I've had to extend my, uh, I don't know if you can tell how much more on the sides you can see, but I've had to extend how high the tripod goes because it just is so freaking huge. Um, but this thing is beautiful. I was so uh, skeptical of this one when I first saw the promo pictures of it. I just, I thought it looked decent, but it just uh, was an obscure genus I wasn't really into. Boy was I wrong. And I, as I saw in hand pictures of it, I just, I knew I needed it. And I finally have it. It is the second tallest uh, figure on my shelf, period. It, it is massive. My hands are not giving you a proper sense of scale, and I'm going to get you guys some size comparisons relatively soon. But this thing is utterly insane with how beautiful it is. I'm going to try to zoom in on its head here, uh, because I don't want to get it too close to the light where it's going to start obscuring the actual color of the animal. Um, but yeah, this is gorgeous. Look at that beautiful head sculpt. That is incredible. Uh, very Camarasaurid looking, uh, just beautiful coloration on the head and the patterns is really well done. Um, this really beautiful uh, bluish black, uh, or really gray, I guess grayish blue gradient that comes down into the bottom of the neck here where there's this nice uh, like army green with all these stripes all over the body, just this beautiful patterning, uh, this really beautiful patterning on the front of the animal right there. Uh, the, the legs are done beautifully. One foot is even slightly tilted up at an angle because it's actually placing its foot down. It's in the middle of a stride. The tail is beautiful. At that, uh, We have a darker uh, green. That same green that's used for the stripes is actually joined at the end of the tail here and makes it have a darker tip. Um, the posing is just incredible on this, guys. It's It does uh, fall over if you do uh, wiggle it too much, but it is, it is still a sturdy figure, so there's nothing really to be worried about here like with the... Uh, Giganotosaurus. We also have this really cool collector's card that as comes with all of the Eofauna figures. Uh, this is the easily the, the highest rated uh, collector uh, point figure. Uh, you have the Atlasaurus name right there and the, the genus and species name. It's from North Africa. Uh, you have the really cool silhouette and all of its statistics. There's also another one that's posed back there in a different way from the actual uh, figure here, uh, which is really cool. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful model. Oh my goodness gracious. This one is slightly the most expensive. I think like all the other ones are around $40 each or just under 40 bucks. And this one's like a couple, like two or three bucks more on um, pretty much everywhere I've shopped. I got this one at Mini Zoo. I think it was like just under 40 bucks there. Um, so it's, a it's definitely an expensive figure compared to a lot of the other stuff. But you are getting immense quality here. I mean, I, I need to show you guys. Look at this detail. Look at this incredible detail all over the body. I mean, look at, you can see my fingers there, and these are tiny, tiny scales, and they're covering the entire animal. It is incredible. The bottom of the feet are even detailed. It is so incredible. If you guys aren't aware, the Eofauna digitally sculpts the skeleton, then the flesh and the muscles all over, uh, and the cartilage all over that skeleton, and then they put the skin over it, color the integument, and they, they pose it and put, make this beautiful model. It is incredible the process they make uh, to make sure these are accurate and lifelike, and it really shows through. You are not going to get a better, more accurate figurine than this one right here. This is the definitive best Eofauna figure. It is incredibly well detailed, incredibly well painted, incredibly accurate. It is a flawless figure. It is a masterpiece. It is incredible. Um, I know that I'm just complimenting the hell out of this thing, but you guys really are doing yourself a disservice if you do not own this masterpiece here. Um, out of my entire collection, not including statues and not including action figures, this is the best figure in my collection. Uh, not necessarily saying it's my favorite, although I kind of think it is. Uh, it is definitely the best. It is the objective best figure in my collection. It is incredible. Eofauna is an amazing figure. I cannot wait to see what they produce at the end of this year. I am so freaking stunned and excited about this thing. Um, oh my goodness, I I love this amazing sauropod. And sauropods, I, this thing just hits you right on, it hits the, the feels right on the nail. The naturalism, the accuracy, 
the fact that it's a sauropod, which is easily the most captivating group of dinosaurs ever uh, with their massive size. They are the pinnacle of what makes dinosaurs so awe-inspiring. And uh, this is just the, the most expertly crafted sauropod figure I have ever seen. Um, as some comparisons for size, let's get our control size comparison of the Safari LTD u in here. This is an 8 inch figure, so that kind of gives you a little bit of uh, some scale here um, in terms of the length of the animal. There you go, you get a pretty good idea there. Let me tilt this dude there. So the, uh, yeah, he's 8 inches long, so that gives you an idea of how long this figure is. It's, it's long, it's definitely over a foot long, that's for sure. Um, then let's get uh, another sauropod that I could easily fit in here. Here's the Safari LTD Niger Saurus, which is one of my other favorite sauropod figures I own. Really great quality figure there. Um, you can just see how tiny it is compared to this Atlasaurus. It doesn't even fit in frame. We'll do one more massive sauropod figure that I think a lot of people will own, which is the Safari 2017 Diplodocus. Um, beautiful figurine here. Uh, Oh my gosh, this thing looks puny. I'm going to have to try to see if I can figure out a way to get them lined up side to side. Um, there you go, that's giving you a general sense of scale here at how massive this thing is. If you own this thing, you know how big this thing is. Now look at this, I mean it is incredible. Um, now let's uh, do some Eofauna stuff, uh, starting off with the Giganotosaurus. Uh, so there you go, you can see how big the Giga is next to it. Eofauna also does a great job of showing off all their figures next to each other on their social medias. So you can always see how big they are compared to each other there. Um, just incredible. A uh, huge, huge figure. Put this guy up. And finally, the last review, which you can check out on the channel, and it's already been linked in the top right corner of the screen. Um, here is the Paleoluxodon. Just utterly puny compared to this beautiful, beautiful thing. Incredible. Um, easily, another figure that is getting a 10 out of 10 for me. It is so stunning. Um, I just, I don't even know what else to say. I'm just going to start becoming rhetorical. It is such a beautiful figure with such great character, and it is a, a really affordable price for the utter masterpiece you're getting here. This is really breaking the boundary of a uh, statue and uh, just a standard small collectible figure. Um, this is the utter pinnacle of a collector's figure here. Wow. Guys, get off your butt and buy this figure. It is stunning. So, I'm not going to make this video drag on too, uh, too much longer than it needs to, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye